uh, you're okay with being on YouTube? I guess. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> hey, so you really, you, so all you really don't have to. Sorry about that. They turn the camera on. I know. They say, "Are you okay with being?" Right. Yeah. Hey, so so you've dislocated your shoulder, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. And so um, we got to help this. Uh, right. Do you do you have a good story of how it happened? No, I was, I was in a fight. You was in a fight. Okay. All right. You lost it. Right. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna put your other leg up too. Okay, so so you're doing the uh, this one's dislocated. Yeah, that's one that's dislocated. I want you to bend this knee for me, bud. Mm -hmm. Okay, and that's gonna be hurting a little more than you think. Yep. I want you to take your other hand right here. This is called the Davos method, D A B O S method. D -A -B -O -S method. It just came out in the most recent issue of uh, Journal of Emergency Medicine. It's me a little tight. Do you want to go ahead and read off each of the steps there while we're doing it? <laughs> so, yeah, standard pain control first. Yeah, standard pain control. He flexes the ipsilateral knee as much as possible. Okay, so he flexes the, the, the ipsilateral knee as much as possible. And then now um, we're assisting him with passing both his hands in front of his flex knee. Okay. And then we tie his hands together using an elastic band at the level of the wrist joint. Okay. Uh, it prevents the patient from having to focus on keeping his fingers crossed. Yeah. And, um, to keep his elbows as close to his thigh as possible. Okay, so yeah, so the, the keep the elbows, I mean the shoulder, the arms as close to the thigh as possible. It helps with the relaxation. And now the physician can sit on the patient's foot. So you sit on the foot. And this is the crazy part, so. And instruct the patient okay. to lean his head back. So lean your head, yeah, so you lean your head back. Mm -hmm. and, and so you're trying to relax. Just let the patient's shoulder roll forward. Shoulders roll forward. Extending his arms and relaxing. Extending the arms. Just let your body weight go back. By extending his neck, the patient exerts a constant traction on the injured shoulder, and the dislocation is reduced without any need for additional maneuvers. Oh, oh there it goes. <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah. Usually after reduction splinting and care, <clears throat> and it's an approximately 60% success rate. Yeah, about 60% success rate. Okay, so the shoulder got reduced on this. Yeah, definitely. Okay, good. Or dislocated, one of the two. All right, thanks for helping.